Hello, I'm Kara Weigerman from the Division of Gastroenterology at Duke University Health System, and on behalf of my co-authors, I'm excited to give you a very brief commentary on our article, Molecular Mechanisms Linking Non-Alcoholic Steatohepatitis, or NASH, to Cancer. In the big picture, the relationship between NASH and cancer is complicated. NASH has been linked to liver cancers, including hepatocellular carcinoma, or HCC, and intrahepatic cholangiocarcinoma. It's also been linked to extrahepatic cancers, including breast and colon cancer. In this article, we focused on the big picture mechanisms linking NASH to HCC, with a brief comment on extrahepatic malignancy. We think that metabolic syndrome is key to all of these links. But the link between NASH and HCC is a particularly important area for research because we're seeing HCC diagnosed in patients with NASH who don't have cirrhosis, which brings up the need for better risk stratification and surveillance. The main points from the article are that a key inciting event in the link between NASH and HCC is abnormal accumulation of lipids in the liver, which often occurs in the setting of the metabolic syndrome. This leads to oxidative stress and mitochondrial dysfunction in some patients, and that sets off three processes that may lead to HCC. The first is changes in fatty acid synthesis and oxidation. That can actually alter activation of tumor suppressors. And the second is activation of growth, proliferation, and pro-apoptotic pathways, such as JCAD-YAP, IGF, and caspases. The overall effect is more hepatocyte growth and proliferation, which is a ripe environment for cancer. And the third process is changes in immune signaling, including a loss of anti-tumor surveillance and secretion of pro-inflammatory cytokines, which promote HCC development. Hopefully, understanding these mechanisms will help to lead to ways to prevent or treat HCC. But these pathways have far-reaching effects beyond the liver, which can complicate these efforts. For example, anti-TNF agents have been considered as chemo prevention because of the link between pro-inflammatory cytokines and HCC, but TNF is important for liver regeneration. Similarly, hedgehog pathway inhibitors um, are potential therapeutics for NASH-associated HCC, but hedgehog is also crucial for liver regeneration. Apoptosis inhibitors, most notably branched-chain amino acids, have also been discussed, but there's limited data at this point. Overall, targeting the above pathways is likely to have a host of unintended consequences, and we need to study it extensively in animal models first. Targeting the abnormal lipid accumulation in the liver and the metabolic syndrome has enormous potential, um, but it would require significant public health investment in obesity prevention.